Hello and welcome to Amna's Kitchen for All. Today we will be making this delicious biryani. So let us show you how. So we're going to take this national biryani packet. We're going to take one cup of oil. That is two teaspoons of garlic and ginger paste. And then we're going to mix that around. This is one kg of chicken. And we're going to add a wa one cup of water to our tomatoes and onions that we are going to put into the blender to make into a paste. That will be two tom onions, two, to two onions, and three tomatoes. Now that that's a paste, we can pour that in with our chicken. And now we mix it. Mix, mix. And then this is the biryani masala. Two tablespoons. We will add it in it. And then we will mix it. Mix, mix. Chicken with All right, we're gonna keep this on a medium heat so that the chicken chicken gal sakti hai, aur ham log ka rice baitha hua hai pani mein. Right, meanwhile, we're going to put three cups of rice into that pan and we're going to let it cook. While we do that, we're going to put in our potatoes, as many potatoes as you want. Put them into the salad and let that cook also. Now our rice look done. They should look like that. And now what you want to do is you want to get a strainer and a bowl. You want to pour the remaining excess water that is in there. Not the whole thing. We're not going to put the whole thing. Yeah. So all that. We'll pour it right back in. That's the rice. They should be about 75% cooked. Now our potatoes look cooked also. They should be soft. All right, now that our rice has been cooked and our chicken and potatoes are looking very nice, we're gonna go ahead and put some rice in. Not the whole thing, not the whole thing, just some. And what we're gonna do is put our tomatoes and potatoes on top of that rice. Then, it's like a layer thing, so we're gonna put more rice. And then obviously on top of that, you're gonna put potatoes your potatoes uh, get overcooked here's a tip you put them on top of the rice and not like below so they don't get smushed there you go I think that's our last layer so we only did like two three layers if you would like more flavor to your biryani, you can always put two more tablespoons of the biryani mix, which is from National. 
All right, we're going to let this biryani cook for 15 minutes. That's why it's not enough to give it. Yes. You could add some podina, mint, or some haradhaniya if you would like coriander. All right, so now we're just gonna add some food coloring to give it that little, you know, that little oomph that it needs. If you would like, you can add, you know, you have to add food coloring. That's the only way to cook biryani. What? <laughs> There has to be color in it. Has to be. gonna go ahead and add a uh, green chili if you'd like to give it more flavor right, y'all know the deal subscribe and share all that good stuff All right, here is the finished result of the delicious dish. It was very good. Um, make sure to add, you know, your raita, your onions, your tomatoes, all that good stuff with it. And y'all have a great day. Thank you for coming to Amna's Kitchen for all.